Good morning. I'm here in my studio. You can see I just made a mess. That's okay. We're artists, right? If you love this look, this is the um, Airbrush 101. 101. It's a beautiful day. I'm in my studio, got my nice natural lighting. You can see, got my coffee, got everything set up for you guys. So I'm actually going to do what I promise, a little airbrush 101. I've already done my eyes and I've already done my brows. Oh, by the way, what do y'all think about this brow color? Okay, see, I tried something new. So obviously y'all know I got my hair did. Um, this is the NYX Micro Brow. It's color is blonde. So this is like a dupe for the Anastasia brow is, but um, I feel like this should say strawberry blonde. It's a little bit more sunny, golden. I'm not sure. Hey, that's the fun thing about makeup. You can change it. If you don't like it, wipe it off. Lord knows that's why I'm not a hairdresser. I'm gonna do airbrush one one I'm going to also do um, teach you how to use my system. Um, so it'll be application and also a little bit of product knowledge about the foundation and the compressor. So first, um, I still have nothing on my skin, so I'm gonna use my favorite. You can tell I need a new one. Mackenzie, help, it's almost gone. This is the Max Smack Flower Power. Um, this is a hydrating tonic, so just a little bit about Max Smack. Um, she makes, Mackenzie makes all of her products in Hanover, Virginia. This is um, local, it's paraben free, non-GMO, cruelty free, and um, everything's handmade with love. I have tried all of her products and love them all. So this is a hydrating tonic. I'm gonna spray my face about three to five inches away. Smells good. Um, I noticed in my last video, let me know how you guys like it too. I'm kind of practicing on lighting, etc. But um, gosh, I really noticed like my fine lines and wrinkles underneath my eyes. My husband told me that I'm crazy, which is probably true. But um, so today I'm going to make sure that I really prime and hydrate under those bad boys. Because um, I'm only like on my third 29th birthday. I'm going to use another favorite from Max Mac. This is the Transcend Elixir. So this is a hydrating serum. It has a little um, dropper. So you just kind of squeeze it to get some in. I'm going to put it underneath my eye area. This is really concentrated and I love this at nighttime. And I'm just going to kind of pat that in. I really want this to be nice and blended. Uh, it's like a drink of water for your eyes. Lord knows I need it. I'm going to use the Bare Skin. This is the Serum Concealer in Light. I love this concealer. Um, it has a little doe foot applicator. And I'm really generous with this. Now this is really hydrating. So the last one that I used was the Maybelline Fit Me. And I do love that one. But this one, like I said, um, all I could stare at last time when I was editing was my fine lines under my eyes, so that's no bueno. Um, it's great for dry under the eye, and it is full coverage, and you know, y'all, I'm liberal with my concealer application. I need to, since I did do my brows first, I'm gonna clean those up. Get them nice sharp brows, it's like you wanna cut somebody. Okay, good. Don't cut anybody. Oh my gosh, this is like butter. With that Max Smack Transcend Elixir and this Bare Essentials Concealer, I don't know, I wish you could feel this. This feels like velvet on my skin right now. And I'm sure you can see how hydrating it is. I wanna kinda of blend this line out from the shadow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys need this. I 
eyebrows on fleek. The Japanesque Translucent Setting Powder. I know I used this in the last video. Um, take your MAC 187 brush and set this. So yes, set this before you airbrush because it is so dewy. Um, you really want to make sure that this is not going to cause any excess, like, you know, oil production throughout the day. The airbrush is waterproof um, and sweat proof, but I have on the serum, I have on the um, serum concealer. So I've got a lot of hydration going on right now. And I wanna make sure that my skin stays hydrated, but not greasy. On to bigger and better things. So, this is the um, Temp2 SP40 Pro Airbrush System. I, I kind of like hemmed and hauled about which one to buy. Temp2 has um, AirPods. They have, you know, a lot of great companies like Denair also has products, um, airbrush systems as well. I just asked a lot of friends. I did my own research and this is what I chose and I love it. Um, so this is the gun and you're gonna load the product into the top. This guy detaches and you're going to attach it right here. That's where it's going to meet the compressor and the air comes out. I love airbrush because it does all the work for you. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. I've probably been doing it for about two years now. It is heaven on earth. Initially, it's a little bit more expensive to buy, but it's worth it. And make sure that you take care of it, and we'll talk about that as well. This is the Temp2 compressor system that I use. Um, this end detaches here, so that is connected to the wall because we need it to work. And this guy does not come out, um, so that is what's going to attach to your airbrush gun. Here. So you just place this and put it on nice and good. I spilled some foundation out of it. I preloaded it for you guys. So put it on nice and tight. So you'll notice the nozzle here. This has a plus sign and a minus sign. I've got mine closer to the plus sign. Um, the closer to the plus sign, the fuller the coverage, which y'all know I love. And then the closer to the minus sign, um, the lower coverage. On my clients, I probably use it in the middle because I don't want them to like, you know, go into shock when I first spray them because it can be, you know, kind of intimidating sometimes if they've never had their makeup done before. It's exciting, but they don't know what to expect. So you just turn it on and it makes that funny noise coming out of there. Yeah. So I am a perfect shade number four. This is the Temp2 Silicone Base Foundation. Um, it's oil-free, waterproof, sweat-proof. Um, they have another one called Hydrolock, and it's a 24-hour wear. I haven't tried it yet, but a lot of my artist friends have and love it. So I really believe in anything Temp2. I think it's a great line. Um, when you first buy the system, the shades will come in um, all of these beautiful sample sizes. So there's 12 shades and they are warm and cool. Um, one being the lightest, 12 being the darkest. Um, I just happen to be a number four. Sometimes you might have to mix and match. You just takes practice. Just swatch a little bit on their cheek at first. You can mix it right into um, this little dish here, the cup for you. I don't know what the word is. I'll drop it right there when I figure out what it is. And then you don't need a lot, so don't don't waste your product. Just place, that's good. So when you first spray this, don't initially spray it right onto the client. Just kind of let it flow first. Let it flow, is that the song? No, it's let it go. <laughs> Y'all, we don't have kids yet. So pull back onto the lever and you wanna hold it at about three to five inches away from your face and just move in circular motions. Let's try that again. See? At first you really don't see a lot come out, but I promise it's coming out and you just want to make it buildable. That's why I love Temp2. Need a little more? Yep, like I said, 
I like full coverage. I don't want to see any of those freckles. No age spots. Nope. Not today, Satan. Not today. After you do the airbrush, let it sit. Let it sit. Um, if you try to touch it right now or put product on it, it's just going to move all around um, like a slip and slide. It's the best way I can describe it. So you can just enjoy your coffee. Don't you guys love this mug? My friend gave me this. I don't know where she got it, but I love it. Love lipstick and coffee. Coffee, lipstick. Wait for it. Jesus, coffee, lipstick. You got it. Take your same MAC 187 brush with your Japanese translucent powder. And set. Stipple. A beauty secret. It's new. So I walk into Ulta looking for something new. What else is new? And Rose um, told me that I cannot live without this. You ready? Becca. And my best friend's name is Becca too. Um, this is the Soft Light Blurring Powder in Golden Hour. It just sounds pretty. I just feel like you can see it kind of like glowing. Get your Morphe E42 brush. This is going to give you a nice glow. It's going to instantly blur out any lines that you have. And you want to put this in circular motions. Oh my gosh. That is my crazy dog. You're probably going to hear her just about every time I do a tutorial. So maybe I'll just have her live on camera and she can have her own YouTube channel. She's actually going to boarding school in August. Yep, I'm sending my kid to boarding school. And I'm not even mad about it. The Lorac Pro Contour Palette. So you can obviously see which colors that I use the most of. Um, that's like a matte highlighter, which you can use for everything. Um, but this one I'm going to use in the light contour with the brush. So keep the point facing up. You want the point to go right into that temple and let the brush do all the work for you. We are going to blend it out a little bit, but this is the initial contouring. You can take your um, kabuki brush. This is the matte kabuki brush and just, you know, soften out any harsh lines. Now to highlight, we're going to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, soft and gentle. You can use the same um, contour brush, just use the tip. So just take a tiny little bit, go in the temple and underneath the eye, down the nose, Cupid's bow, chin. Ooh, ooh. It's like that glitter dude in Trolls or something. That was the first thing I thought of. I love that movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Probably just because JT's in there. Yep, I said JT. I can call him that. He just hasn't met me yet. Okay, just kidding. I love you, Kyle. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencils. This one's in Gubby. Gubby. G-U-B-B-Y. Gubby. I don't know where they got the name from. So fill in your entire lip. These guys are creamy. They're water resistant. So I would say they're going to be a great primer for any lipstick. Sometimes I wear these by themselves. Okay. Yeah. And no, that's not dirt. It's a freckle. So let's just, I have someone ask me about every week. I think you got dirt on your lip. No, I was born this way. This is a Mac classic. Can you guess? It's called Snob. It just gives me life. It's kind of like stripper pink. I can't, I just can't do a tutorial without this. Better than sex mascara. Okay, 
You can put eyeliner on. I really wanted my eyes to be pretty neutral. I want my skin to be the focus, nice and healthy and airbrushed. And obviously that lip color is popping. <laughs> All-nighter setting spray. Like I said, the icing on the cake. Do you see that? I love this look. I love it. Honestly, I knew I was doing airbrush, but I kind of just winged it. I really wasn't sure what else I was going to put on my face. So <laughs> I'm glad it turned out pretty good. Look, really quickly, to clean your airbrush system, make sure you clean it. It's too expensive not to clean. And you better clean your brushes once a week with shampoo. We can do another tutorial on that too. But take care of your tools. Do you take care of your hair, your body, your husband, your dog? Take care of your brushes and take care of your airbrush machine. I'm done. So this is the Temp2 Cleaner. Um, this is, I don't even know what it's made of to be honest with you. It just says airbrush cleaner, but it's great. It says shake well, it's clear. You put it right in here. I normally hold it onto a tissue. So you can see like there's the product coming out. This tissue is not very pretty. Let's fold that down. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty. It's gonna take a few times. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but make sure you clean it and show it some love. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. This is Airbrush 101 with a Barbie bubblegum lip.